Hey y'all, happy Friday. Happy Friday to y'all. So I'm coming to you from 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, all right? 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. And it's a good one, y'all. I know I always say that, but it is. Oh, yeah. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. It just, it's real easy, okay? Just hit that like button. I appreciate you coming through. You may not have time if it's early in the morning to leave a comment, but, you know, just let me know you're in the building. Hallelujah. All right, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Okay, you're already doing that. Continue to do that. Continue to comfort yourselves together and edify. Build each other up. That's the season that we're in right now. Edifying, building each other up. We're not tearing each other down. We are building each other up, okay? Verse 12 says, And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Know those that labor among you. You know, you when you as you listen to me give scriptures or someone else gives scriptures or someone else who shares the word, you know, listen, use your discernment, okay? Use your discernment to know, uh, who's giving out the truth okay because we know the truth when we hear it a lot of times we don't want to deal with the truth but we know the truth when we hear it and so verse 12 says look and we beseech you brother to know them which labor among you and are over you in the lord and admonish you and to esteem them very high in love esteem them very high in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourself. Esteem them very high. This is a big responsibility. Giving out the word, being a leader. So have compassion. Have compassion for your leaders. Don't be so hard on us, y'all. Have compassion. Okay, verse 14 says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Warn them, okay? Comfort the feeble-minded. Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. Okay. That's a, nowadays, people do not have a lot of patience. And so we have to be patient. He is telling us. Verse 15. See that none render evil for evil. No tit for tat. None of that in the house of God. None of that amongst the kingdom of God. Unto any man. But ever follow that which is good. Both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. This is what I promised you right here. Verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Okay. Remember I told y'all yesterday I was going to give y'all scripture about praying. Pray without ceasing. That simply means talk to God all the time. Just like I'm talking to you. You can talk to God. You can have that conversation with him. This is another important one. Verse 18. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you okay I'm going to end it right there at verse 18 in everything give thanks in everything give thanks okay you know sometimes we get that confused I've said it before I'm gonna say it again you don't have to be thankful for everything but you can be thankful in everything that means you can find something good in every bad situation every negative you may not thank god for the negative thing that happened but you can surely find something good in the negative thing to thank god for i hope that's making some sense for y'all so it says verse 18 in everything give thanks okay in the good the bad and the ugly for this is the will of god in Christ Jesus concerning you. It is the will of God, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day and a purpose-filled life and absolutely know that I love you with that agape love. Stay blessed.